this brief video, we will show some of the VSS co-simulation capabilities with MATLAB and LabVIEW. VSS contains two blocks for this purpose, named MATLAB and LabVIEW, which allow execution of MATLAB functions and LabVIEW VIs, respectively, in any system diagram in VSS. To illustrate this, I will use an example that comes with AWR development environment and is called MTT MATLAB LabVIEW. We have here a moving target detector, or MTT for short, which is used in radar systems and is a native VSS block from our radar library. We have also implemented reference designs in MATLAB and LabVIEW, which contain the exact same functionality. In this example, we are generating a random signal that drives the MTT implementations in VSS, MATLAB, and LabVIEW, and compare the results. The MATLAB implementation is simply an M file configured as a MATLAB function with the input signal and configuration parameters defined as the MATLAB function variables and which returns an output signal and other estimated parameters. Configuration in VSS is done using the MATLAB block where we define the number of inputs and outputs, vector sizes, scaling of output sampling rates relative to inputs, and configuration parameters, as well as the MATLAB functions that will be executed during its call. Please note that you may execute multiple MATLAB functions during each call from VSS. The VSS system diagram simply passes a vector of data to the MATLAB function and uses the return data as its output. The first time the user clicks run stop system simulators in VSS, a MATLAB command window is opened in the background and all MATLAB functions are executed in this process. This allows users to debug their implementations by opening the MATLAB function being executed in a MATLAB editor, placing breakpoints in the MATLAB code and monitoring variables. The data calculated by MATLAB functions is returned to VSS and treated as a regular VSS signal. LabVIEW co-simulation is performed in a similar fashion. The LabVIEW block in VSS allows users to call any LabVIEW VI, connect its controls and indicators to the VSS configuration parameters, inputs and outputs, and execute as part of a VSS system diagram. The LabVIEW VIs may be executed using the LabVIEW RTE or LabVIEW development environment. Here you can see the LabVIEW implementation of the MTT block which contains the same functionality as the one in VSS. Once the VSS simulation runs, the LabVIEW VIs are executed and the data is passed between VSS and LabVIEW seamlessly. One more option I would like to illustrate in this example is the use of the LabVIEW MathScript node to execute MATLAB code from within LabVIEW. MathScript is a native compiler for custom M files and generates code that can run in real-time hardware. The code from the MTD function was pasted into the MathScript node and was ready to run with very minor modifications. The graph in this example shows the outputs of all these implementations of the MTD, which match perfectly as expected. This was a simple example that hopefully provided some insight on the co-simulation capabilities of VSS with MATLAB and LabVIEW. Thank you.